Does Nicoy Bramwell of Jamaica, Shavana Nixon of the Bahamas, Kimmel Murray of Grenada, Dalen Scott of Bermuda, and Raven Black of the Turks and Caicos Islands. The enforcer need the one to watch uh, Eden Moore, Barbados, Shavano Nixon uh, of uh, the Bahamas. In lane three and uh, five. They will try to stay within striking distance of Bramwell. But Bramwell certainly looks at the class of the field defending champion. 47.86 to win the gold medal last year. Nicoy Bramwell has gone as fast as 46.75 this year. That was in early January. He's in lane four. Set. Stand. Long hold there. The Could see they, the they, athletes they, getting they, anxious. There may have been a fault with the, uh, with the gun. With a bit of flicking, as was the case with the girls at 400 in, in Heat 1. There appears to be an issue with the starting apparatus once again. So there's a green card coming out. The field is fine. We do this once more. Of course, the multi-event athletes don't have to get too jittery in situations like that. They have two opportunities with and this false start rule, Kurt? Yes, definitely. First of two semi-final races in the under-17 boys, 400 meters. Kimal Murray on the screen there. Testing out the gun they are. Seems to be fine once again. On your marks. Lewis Trinidad and Tobago, Moore Barbados, Bramwell Jamaica, Nixon Bahamas, Set. Murray Grenada, Scott Bermuda, Black Turks and Cakes. Stand. Still an issue with the starting equipment. The crowd is displeased, but I'm sure no more so <laughs> than uh, the athletes. <laughs> well, the Bahamians are saying, <laughs> fix that gun. <laughs> Welcome to Carifta, folks. It's 2024. There is a buzz around the Kirana James Athletic Stadium. Shavano Nixon uh, from the Bahamas. Yeah, he'll go in lane number five. One thing I can tell you, so when you get to Carifta, you'll see a lot of the non-Jamaican athletes with pretty moderate seed times but they peak for Carifta. So like we saw in the under 17 girls, 400 meters where Ezra Thomas almost took two seconds off her personal best. You'll see that quite a bit with the Bahamian athletes, with the Trinidadian athletes, even um, with some of the athletes from the Windwards and the Wood Islands. They don't have as many competitions building up to this, and so this is the focus. And certainly not as many competitions with the kind of crowd and the kind of atmosphere that you have at Carifta as they are offered to a team start. Aiden Moore of Barbados flew out of the blocks. Already upon the favorite Nicole Bramwell of Jamaica, who has gone up pretty slowly here, will try to build up through the course of this 400. Kimmel Murray of Grenada. A 50.2 campaigner is also going very well over the first 200. And Bramwell has eased himself up with the leading group, including eight more of Barbados. More of Barbados. Bramwell up Jamaica. The battle will be on for the third automatic qualifying spot as the Jamaican eases further away into the straight. Has a look around to his right and then to his left, just trying to ensure that he maintains his top three qualifying position. Bramwell is well clear as the Bohemian Nixon steps forward late. Moore gets third for Barbados. It's 50.18, but it's as easy as you'll see in qualifying at any major event. Walked across the line virtually, did Bramwell. 
early challenge from uh, Aidan Moore. An interesting situation, of course, in Barbados. They don't have uh, or have not had uh, a, a full synthetic track available for much of the year. They've just uh, recently resurfaced the Usain Bolt complex, but don't have the national stadium available. 50.23, Bramwell confirmed to have come across the line very comfortably and uh, very easily. Yeah, got the track in time for BSAC. Not at 100% capacity this year, BSAC. A little bit scaled down in terms of the numbers and the time. But the Barbadian athletes still here, they have found different ways. A few of them traveled to St. Vincent and the Grenadines to take part in their Carifta trials to get well-needed competition on a synthetic surface as Bramwell comes through qualifying comfortably here for Jamaica to advance to the under-17 boys 400 final. The favorite, the defending champion, one of the biggest favorites here at Carifta 2024, Nicoy Bramwell easing through his qualifying race. Solid run, solid start uh, from uh, Bramwell, 50.23. Nixon coming in in 50.39 more. Uh, will qualify uh, by uh, position, 51.03. So 51.14 and uh, 51.62, those bubble positions. Yeah, Kimmel Murray of Grenada and uh, Raven Black of Turks and Caicos Islands as Bramwell, Nixon and more qualify automatically for the final later on today.